So, speaker number six is a community advocate who's volunteered with Advocates for North Calgary High School and LRT on the Green. And recently he founded Save Nose Creek to push for the creation of a park, either provincial or national. Please give a warm welcome to Andrew Yule. Feeling that uh, cortisol stress right now, Ty. <laughs> All right. I am a community advocate. Over the last few years, I've joined community advocacy groups that others have started. For a high school and the Green Line, I hit, uh, and this year, I hit the ignition on my own advocacy group called Save Nose Creek. So today, I will be talking about igniting advocacy and the burden of accidental knowledge. See, I wasn't always the fanatical creek head that you see before you today. My journey with Nose Creek began with a shameful indifference to the creek. A year ago, when I heard about developments in the Nose Creek Valley, I saw it as our opportunity to finally get an Arby's restaurant in our community. <laughs> Though I was only partially kidding, in the 2021 uh, municipal election, I was tweeting at our ward councillor candidates about their platforms about bringing Arby's to Ward 3. Although I quickly realized my neighbors were not as indifferent about these developments as I was. One of my neighbors was really concerned uh, about this planned bus-only corridor turning into a major thoroughfare to these developments. So I put my Arby's advocacy aside and I started listening to my community. I began to think about why my neighbors are so concerned about this potential road and I realized it's because there was little to no information available to tell us what this road would eventually connect to. The only hint available was a 17-year-old stony industrial area structure plan. This plan was approved by city council in 2005 and from what I could find, no one was a fan. Mayor Dave Bronconier voted against it. The area alderman, Helen LaRock, voted against it. City administration advised against it. And the area residents and community associations weren't happy about it. As a result, we have numerous projects in various stages of development in the Nose Creek Valley. So I thought, while they're developing this area, we could advocate for some infrastructure improvements and accessibility uh, that could benefit the community. But that's when I realized there's actually a creek down there. And so my burden of accidental knowledge began. Nose Creek runs from Crossfield down through Airdrie, through Balzac, through the, all of North Calgary to the Bow River. In fact, it's running right behind this building. You could take a look as you leave tonight. I began researching Nose Creek and I found out there used to be a Nose Creek Historical Society which rolled up into the Nose Creek Museum in Airdrie. And in 1997, they wrote this book, and I got mine off Amazon, and it came from Baltimore, Maryland, of all places. I learned that Nose Creek was the landmark along the First Nations Old North Trail. Old North Trail is one of the earliest First Nations trails that ran from Alaska to Mexico. We received confirmation it ran through Nose Creek when we asked the city of Calgary to give us their best estimate of where the Old North Trail alignment was. Old North Trail then became the base for what early settlers called the Calgary to Edmonton Wagon Trail, which also determined the alignment for CP Rail, Highway 2, and Deerfoot Trail. So it made me wonder, are there any artifacts of this history in the area? The Stony Industrial Area Plan has maps that are filled with markers of historically significant sites. One site along the Nose Creek is the Balzac Archaeological Site, a heritage, an Alberta heritage site just north of Stony Trail. It is a prehistoric bison processing facility found in the 80s when they were building a pipeline. As we dug more into it, we confirmed with former counsel Calgary councillor Brian Pincott that developments like Stony Trail destroyed evidence of the wagon trail, teepee rings, and buffalo jumps. Brian also suggested that we should be including watershed health 
in our advocacy e efforts. Brian's experience with Nose Creek uh, started even before he was city councilor, working to improve repairing health along Nose Creek and West Nose Creek. According to the 2018 Nose Creek Watershed Partnership Report, Nose Creek is 53% unhealthy. I recently talked with Airdrie's representative of the Watershed Partnership, Clint Goodman, and he said something that struck me. Nose Creek is our ecological spine. So why does this matter? What's so important about creek health? Well, according to Wetlands International, wetlands cover just 7% of the planet, but are home to 40% of the world's diverse biodiversity. In the Nose Creek Valley is bustling with its own ecosystem. Personally, I've seen a variety of creatures that call Nose Creek their home. Deer, owls, minks, um, coyotes, porcupines, weasels, and my favorite, the great blue heron. And, there's, uh, there, and then there's the evidence of historical uh, wildlife. This is the Beddington erratic. You can see it has a natural crater created by buffalo who would rub up against it. This glacier erratic hitched a ride on a glacier and rode all the way from Jasper to Calgary. With all this knowledge, it became clear this is more than an exercise in infrastructure improvements. We need to ignite advocacy in preservation of Nose Creek. Our primary goal now is to get Nose Creek a provincial or urban national park designation from Calgary to Airdrie. To reach that goal, Save Nose Creek has committed to giving Nose Creek a voice, a voice to advocate for decisions that affect it. Just last week, I was at City Council to give Nose Creek a voice in a land use change uh, to a property that was right next to it. And I am here tonight to speak for Nose Creek. So are you starting to feel it, that burden of accidental knowledge? You didn't think you'd come here and learn so much about a creek tonight. But that's the thing about advocacy, it kind of sneaks up on you. So you can allow that burden of ad advocacy to ignite your, or burden of knowledge, uh, burden of accidental knowledge to ignite your advocacy, advocacy, or you can sit back and wait for our wetlands to become an Arby's. Thank you. <laughs>